Hi, Brian Lloyd here, movies editor with entertainment.ie, and this is my review of The Trial of the Chicago 7. The Trial of the Chicago 7 arrives at a time when America's standing in the world has fallen drastically and where chaos has flooded every part of American life. That the movie then places itself in a time of similar disharmony, the aftermath of the 1968 election, is of no coincidence. In fact, from the very opening scene, Aaron Sorkin, writer and director, is drawing a line between then and now and how political vengeance comes in the form of so-called justice. The cast really is remarkable. Mark Rylance, Frank Langella, Sasha Baron Cohen, Eddie Redmayne, John Carroll Lynch, Jeremy Strong, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and even a little cameo from Michael Keaton. All of them are firing on all cylinders. All of them are teeming with wit and nuance in their performances, and likewise Scorpion's script just zips along through all the scenes, bouncing back and forth with glee. It really is enjoyable to see how a sharply made drama can look and how rare it is to see courtroom dramas actually get this kind of effort. It's just a shame then that the ending of The Trial of the Chicago 7 just absolutely squanders itself. Throughout the movie, that earnestness that's in Sorkin's work really catches in people's throat. It is kept to a discreet minimum, but it's right in the final moments that it just completely gives itself over to it and really just ruins everything that came before. Up until that point, however, The Trial of the Chicago 7 is a riveting courtroom drama. Sasha Baron Cohen, in particular, is electric as Abby Hoffman. It's an exhilarating piece of courtroom drama, and the starry cast will make the weighty script fly off the screen. Our score, 4 out of 5. Objection. <laughs>